Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where today I am, if you've been watching Instagram you'll know exactly where I am, but I am in the Novrich offices over in the HQ, HQ? HQ in Austria and I'm very excited. This is the first time I've ever been here. It's nice that I can actually see Chris and Joseph in the flesh and uh, I'm going to give you a cheeky little look around so you can kind of experience what, what's going on in here. So at the minute, I am in the shooting room. This is where all the magic happens when they're doing like product photography and videos and things like that. And that's where I've been doing a little bit too. You can see I've commandeered one of the new plate carriers. We did a couple of pictures earlier with it and uh, it's quite comfy and it's keeping my body nice and warm. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it on, just casually walk home with it. We'll see if they realize <laughs> I'm just walking around and taking this home with me. Coming over to like the table bit here, you can see like tons of stuff that I think that you'd probably expect to find uh, at the Norwich HQ, but it's quite cool to come in here and just kind of like see what they've been working on and gee, that looks really sweet. That, <laughs> that actually does look really nice. It's cool being able to see just everything out in the open and being able to grab it and get hands on with it. If you said you an SSP-18 with a mixture of blue and purple stuff, I've probably been a bit like, well, nah, I'm okay. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. That actually mixes together really, really well. And there's like a little TDC thing in there as well, which I've not seen that before. So that is pretty snazzy. Oh, look at that. There's the voice over voiceover booth there as well. What's up guys? See look, like, maybe I'll be voiceover in the next video. Who knows? I'm a master of many talents, including talking a lot, I guess. Now we have a supply area um, next to like where all the shooting stuff is. So if they want to like grab anything or have any accessories when they're doing the shooting, they can come to here, grab stuff, and then they're all good to go. And this is exactly where I stole, I mean borrowed, but I borrowed, I didn't steal, I borrowed this plate carrier. It was just lying down here, but you can see there's loads of camo and stuff there as well, lots of things for you to kind of like grab and play. I think that's the new camo that they've got, which does look really tidy actually. I do want to get that on and, and try that out to see what that looks like in the field. So maybe we'll be able to do that. I am going to be going out on a game day on Sunday. So we may be able to get to play and see how hidden I will be in the fancy new camo. Yes. I have just noticed as well, there is just a bazooka <laughs> hidden at the side there. Although that part seems to have come off. Is that supposed to happen? I'm, I'm just going to put that down. And then here we have got a a ton of different parts and accessories, SSP-18, knives, suppressors. I've got a fun idea for a video that I want to do with the suppressors box, so keep an eye out on that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. There's going to be a fun, fun video, hopefully, of, uh, of trying the suppressors out and seeing if we can build something. Again, if you're watching the Instagram stories, you would have seen already that I've already built something out of using the suppressors. It's called the gun gun, where it's silent, so you can shoot something. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> no, no. And I think it could take the airsoft world by storm. Then we got the big, oh, massive box of colory stuff that I saw Joseph looking at on a video the other day. Look at that little gold thread protector there, little red one. This looks very snazzy. I like this. I'm, I'm just, yeah, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. We got boxes for everything. This box as well. Very fancy, although there is only one thing in there, uh, and it's the little M-Lock thing. And I don't think this is a secret. This is, there's just literally, there's pictures of this on the website, so I can show you that. There is some secret things in here, though, that I'm not allowed to show you, and I don't think we could talk about those yet either. So, that's just for my brain to to have that knowledge now of and hopefully not to mention by accident on stream or to, or to anyone because that would be a bit awkward wouldn't it yeah anything that you want for any nov gun is pretty much here you know we've got bipods batteries we even got like tons of tag rounds as well i don't think that i should be holding this i don't trust myself even just to hold that because i feel like there's a little part of me which is like just pull the pin what's the worst that could happen it'll be okay it'll be okay apparently they have had the austrian swat come to the building a couple of times and they weren't too happy when they realized everything was just toys but that's like nosy neighbors getting involved when they shouldn't do but what can you do this is all in the marketing area by the way there is like the main office bit too we'll do a flyby in there but there's loads of people kind of working Working quietly over that side, so I feel bad for just getting right in their faces all the time. SSG 96 on the top there, and I believe, what's that? There's an A2 behind it as well with some fancy stuff. And then this, I've seen them playing with uh, on quite a few of their, their Instagram stories and whatnot. This is like kind of a flintlock single feed airsoft gun. I am going to be doing a video as well. I'm going to go around, I'm going to find the weirdest airsoft guns here that I can find and have a little look at them and maybe see if I can find out why they've got such weird ones. Like, look up there, there's an AA-12. Who even uses AA-12s? If you use an AA-12, let me know in the comments. I'll be, I, want, I want to know, I want to hear from you and you can tell me if they're good and if I should get one of those. Then we have tons of leaves, tons of camo, some camo tape as well. An SSX-23 
on his own, looking a little bit lonely, but we'll be able to find a family for you soon. I'm very, very sure. Oh, these are, I saw these come in earlier. These are the new universal kind of like quick release mounting things for pistols. Look at that. So you mount that on your under rail and then you just put that in there and then that's it. Your Glock is now mounted onto you or whatever pistol you want. And that could just go like there, like that. And then, and then boom, that's it. It's very cool getting hands on with little bits like that. Cause these are the things which I kind of see on the website and I'm like, oh, that's a cool idea. But then when I actually hold it and feel the real physicalness of it, it makes me be like, oh, maybe that is something which I should get. And now we're gonna sneak in here because he's editing a picture of me. Look at that, look, it's me, hello. So you're giving me lungs right now yep. with the plate carrier. Why are, you, why are you giving me lungs right now? I was trying to show that the plate carrier covers the vitals. We're writing a blog post about it, so check out the Norwich blog post. Norwich blog, go check it out. You'll be able to see an x-ray picture of me. Look at that. That's what my insides look like. I'm still wearing the plate carrier. I'm, I'm determined to take it home somehow. We're fine with it. It's just Joseph. I'm taking that as that that's okay. It's good. I did bring extra room in the suitcase. So we're gonna do that. Don't tell anyone. Shh. This is probably one of my most favorite bits. Just look at all of the BBs. You could not need or require any more BBs at all. Like, this is probably like an entire airsoft careers worth supply just like sat there as well. And you've got the full thrust ones there too. I've still yet to use a full thrust rifle. So maybe we'll be able to have a bit of a play with that at some point. Like I said, on the weekend, we are going to go out for a game day and we'll be doing a gameplay video. So that could be the time. Just notice at the back there as well, you've got the famous double M4. Maybe that will get into the video for all the random strange guns that I could find. And then as much gas as you could ever require. Oh, and BBs here, look, tracer BBs too. Oh my days, I thought that was all the BBs that there was gonna be, but no, there's still loads of BBs all up in there too. They don't need this many BBs, I swear. They, they don't need this many BBs. Oh, there we go. Right, what else? This is where Joseph would be, but he's not on his computer at the minute. He's probably off at a meeting, doing important meeting-y things. Is there anything I can mess with? Like, while Joseph is gone, what could we do? Look at that, it's a proper little workstation and everything. Should I just like hide a part somewhere so when he comes to rebuild his gun, like he just can't do it? <laughs> Such an evil thought. I love it. No, we're not gonna do that. Joseph, if you end up missing a part, it's not because I've taken anything away, okay, okay. It's just not there, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. Then we have my little temporary setup here. This is where I'm gonna be sitting. We have this little kitchen. We got SSG 96 up there. We've got all these little mini guns, which I do wanna have a little play with as well, because again, in all the videos, they do look really, really quite snazzy. So I want to have a little play with them. And then we got SSX 303. What's that? SSP 18, SSP 1, SSP 1, SSP 1, and the SSE 18. Then you've got all the charging you could ever possibly need. A few more rifles up there with a, a katana. Is that a good? Yep, <laughs> got a katana uh, in case we know to go and hit anyone. This view makes me feel like I'm playing in a, uh, I don't know, a medieval shogun game and I'm gonna go do some stabbing. Ooh. We've got this cheeky little GBB rifle too, and this is one of the fancy ones with uh, with shells that eject. So when you wanna load the magazines, you have to put in each one of these individually just like that and the BBs go in there. These are cool and I do kind of like respect the realism aspect of these rifts but that must be such a pain when you're out in the field of like having to go around and pick up all these shells all the time must be an absolute nightmare but I mean it's cool and if it's accurate and if it's got range and if it's consistent then I think you could potentially warrant it but it would have to be really really good <laughs> for me to take that out and skirmish it but I'd give it a go at least. Hello. Hello. Look at look how close I am. Ooh. Hello, Joseph. Ooh. Hello, Joseph. We're so close right now. Which is your favorite of the ones on the wall right now? I spent so much time with it and, and I played so many times with it. Even though I have like better ones, more teched out ones. I have like cool stuff. This one is just, it never really let me down. There's a little bit here. What's that bit there for? This one? Yeah, what's it that? Hold, it's holding the pins inside so that they don't fall out. Is it's, that like a GBB thing? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you have the bolt going back and forth, it shakes it around and usually when you have like a WE scar, all the screws and everything just falls out after yeah. a few few shots. I didn't know that. And screw glue, man. Screw glue? Screw glue. On everything. Everywhere. I did not know that. Look at that, see? Learning and having fun. Oh, cheers, dude. Thank you, thank you very much. See you later. That is the marketing department over here uh, at Novrich. We'll jump over to the other side and have a little look there uh, another time. But yeah, that's just like the scraping the surface of everything that we've got there. And like I said, I'm here for the whole week, so get ready for a ton of Nov-based content. And uh, yeah, see if you can count how much stuff that I, I tried to sneak. Don't, don't, don't tell them. Don't, don't tell them. I'm gonna 
try and take this play carry home, but don't tell them. Big shout out to all my patrons for supporting the channel month for month. You guys are all awesome. And of course, a very big thank you to Novridge for having me over here for the week. And uh, yeah, just being very lovely in uh, in taking me in and, uh, and, and and giving me lots of things that they, they, they definitely will do. I have to speak quietly. Joseph is right there. I, I don't. What? No, 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 nothing at all. <laughs> Because there's all this content coming, make sure you are subscribed, make sure you drop a like, make sure you drop a comment, and if there's anything in particular you'd like me to ask the guys while I'm here, let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching, remember to call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one.